There are two big stories we're following tonight. We'll get to the deadly plane crash in Nunavut in a moment, but we're going to begin with a very dramatic day in Libya. It's been a very fluid situation, but tonight it seems the stage is set for the imminent collapse of Muammar Gaddafi's regime. Rebel fighters say they now control most of Tripoli. Some have even been seen waving the opposition flag in the city's central square. Melissa Fung is following this story for us from Washington. Melissa? Kim, we're hearing tonight that the rebels have taken over Green Square in the center of the city and have renamed it Martyr Square, a highly symbolic development, much like when the Egyptian rebels entered Tahrir Square back in the spring. Explosions and heavy gunfire cracked through the streets of Tripoli tonight. After six months of fighting, the rebels began their assault on the capital. Even as thousands took to the streets in celebration, Gaddafi took to the airwaves from an unknown location, asking people to continue fighting against the rebels. I am with you, he said. I am with you in this battle. We shall never give up Tripoli to the colonialists or traitors. But most believe this is the end game. Within hours of the rebels advancing, one of Gaddafi's security brigades had already surrendered and two of his sons, Saif al-Islam and Mohammed, were captured. A government spokesperson said 1,300 people have been killed in the fighting today and another 5,000 injured. He called for NATO and the rebels to stop their attack. We can sit down with all parties, achieve peace, agree on how to move forward for Libya, but no one wants to listen because all NATO cares about is to destroy this Libyan political system. It's been a long road to Tripoli for the rebels. Supported by NATO airstrikes against Gaddafi forces, they've still had a hard time holding territory they've taken throughout the uprising, sometimes being beaten back by government forces. This weekend, the push to the capital started in earnest when the rebels took the nearby city of Zawiya, pushing government forces back to Tripoli. The U.S., Britain and France again called on Gaddafi to step down to prevent further bloodshed. There is still time for Colonel Gaddafi to avoid the worst by complying immediately and unreservedly with all the demands of the international community. The doors of diplomacy will open once again when the aggression stops. NATO Secretary General released a statement this evening saying that the organization is ready to work with the Libyan people and the Transitional National Council on a peaceful transition to a post-Qaddafi Libya. Kim? All right, thanks, Melissa.